Okay, here's a quick little Okay, welcome. Here's a quick routine to help with some core strengthening from a sitting position. So you're going to begin with a little warm up. You're going to rest your hands on your thighs. Make sure you're sitting right on the edge of the chair. And we're going to start by rounding and extending the spine. So you curl your tailbone, let your body go back and then come forward and arch your spine. Stick out your chest. Round back, come forward and extend. Use your breath. So inhale as you go back. Exhale. You extend. Inhale back. Exhale forward. As you're rounding, your shoulders are coming forward. As you're extending, your shoulders are coming back. Let your head and neck come for the ride. So as you roll back, your chin will drop. As you come forward, your chin will lift slightly. But don't look all the way up to the ceiling. I don't want any compression in the back of the neck. And then back to sitting. Good. Make, expand your feet out a little bit wider just for balance. Arms are resting at your side. Side bending, letting your body drop to one side and then drop to the other side. So just slow controlled movements. This will warm up the spine, get things moving, but it will also wake up little core muscles. So you're doing this with ease, with minimal effort in order for the right muscles to recruit. Nice and easy, healthy for the spine. And then back to center. Good. Arms in cactus position. If you have shoulder issues, you can drop your elbows lower. If not, then you can have your shoulder elbows up at 90 degrees. And you're going to rotate side to side. Let your head go with the movement. So rotating through the spine. No pain allowed here. So make the movement as small as you have to for you not to have any pain. Nice and relaxed. Good. Back to center. Drop the hands. Bring your feet back in. And relax. You're going to extend one leg out in front of you. And you're going to keep your, flit, your foot flexed. And you're going to rotate the leg bone in and out. So think of the entire leg bone is rotating inside a socket that's part of your pelvis. And you're just trying to loosen the hip inside the socket. And back to center, place the foot back in, extend the other leg, and rotate. So this movement's done quickly because if you're too slow and controlled, then there'll be tension building up in the hip. If you do the movement quick and very gently and with no effort, then you're really working at loosening the ball of the hip inside the socket. The whole leg bone rotates in and out with ease and quickly back with the other foot. Good. Hands resting on your thighs again. You're going to go back to pelvic tilting. So rounding and, rounding and arching. And then you're going to stop halfway between the two. So you're not arching, you're not rounding, you're in the middle. And that's what we're going to call neutral sitting. Okay. So you're, you should feel your sits bones on the surface of the chair. Ideally, you're on a harder chair. Um, and now you're going to hold this position. So you're going to think of pulling your belly button in towards your spine. Think of like your whole belly pulling back, but you don't want to round your spine. So you're staying in that neutral halfway between a flat and an arch back. You're pulling your be belly muscles in with no, no effect on your posture. Good. You're going to hold this. And what you're going to do now is gently lift one knee off uh, up towards the ceiling. So you're, you're stepping off the floor just slightly and then drop. And then other leg comes up and drop. So the idea is that there's going to be movement in the hip joint. So the ball of the hips rolling in the socket. We've just finished 
releasing that joint, but you're not lifting and rounding your back. You're keeping neutral. So your abdominals are keeping your posture. Well, there's more than abdominals. There's some back muscle, pelvic floor is probably kicking in your diaphragm. So there's muscles involved in keeping your posture stable and neutral. And you're trying to lift and lower the legs with ease. So there's like very little effort through the legs. Of course, you're using leg muscles to lift the leg, but the idea is to maintain neutral and march the legs up and down with the least amount of effort. Last one and lower down. Nice work. Now you're going to push through your feet, push through your heels on the floor, and you're going to squeeze your bum muscles like you're coming off the chair, like we're coming into standing, but you're not going anywhere. You're just pushing through your feet, through your heels and squeezing the bum and releasing. So you're maintaining neutral and you're activating your bum muscles on and off and squeeze on and off. Push through your heels, through your feet, squeeze the bum and let it go. Squeeze and let it go. Squeeze and let it go. And this is an exercise you could be doing anytime you're sitting, whether you're traveling in a vehicle, sitting at a table, enjoying a meal, enjoying company around you. Nobody will even notice that you're doing it. It's like you're activating and releasing the glute muscles, so your bum muscles, so that will really help to make it easier to change positions, to get off the chair, but also just for walking and, and squatting and lunging, any other activities you're drink, doing during the day. So tighten those glutes and release. Nice work. Arms are gonna be out in front of you, palm touching palm, thoracic rotation. Don't bend the elbows, don't slide your hands off of each other. Both arms go over to the right and back to center, over to the left and center. So you're maintaining that neutral sitting position. So you're not rounded, you're not arched. And now you're rotating the upper portion of your body around the base while maintaining neutral. So you're going to feel your spine rotate and your ribs move. There's no effort in your arms. So your shoulders are relaxed, your necks relax, your jaws relax. Last time each side. Back to center and relax. Take a check in, make sure you're still in neutral so you're not rounded, you're not arched, you're in between. You feel your sits bones underneath you. Stay anchored into your chair. You're gonna inhale your arms up overhead. Don't lose neutral, so don't arch your back and then back down. So if you have shoulder issue, only come as high up as you're comfortable and lower back down. Two more. The idea is to stay neutral. Little tiny muscles are working to keep you neutral. You don't have to feel them work, they're working. Good, to the side. Open, if it's, if it's there for you, go all the way. If you have a shoulder issue, respect, don't go into pain. Keep the movement as small as you have to. Two more. Last one. Good. Bring it full circle. Arms forward and come down to the side. Stay neutral through the spine. So that there's, there's movement happening at the shoulder joint, but there should not be any movement anywhere else. Your feet are grounded. Your pelvis is stable on the chair. Your spine is neutral. And then let's finish off the opposite way, up to the side, down the front. So floating the arms, making the movement as small as you have to if your shoulders are bothering you. Last one. Back down. Relax your spine, relax your neutral alignment here for a second. Shake it out. And you did it. Nice little core routine. There's no excuses. This should be done daily. Thank you.